Am I the only one who is not hyped about this match? Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong that this match is not a mistake. Prove me wrong that this match is not forced. Prove me wrong that this match is not rushed. Because it is. It feels like it's rushed. Ever since Will Osprey is on AEW roster, everything feels rushed. All of his feuds, all of his engagements, all of his things are feeling rushed. I don't know anything about this guy. Everything I know about him is that Ricochet praised, praised him in one interview. But all I know is that he's one of the best, according to Dave Meltzer, of course, and his uh, good ass star ratings that are 100% without any mistakes. Prove me wrong. Tell me why should I care about this match? Tell me why should I care about a match that on paper is a dream match, but I just don't care. I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, Will Osprey is new. New to AEW, new to American television, new to the fans. All of the hardcore fans probably know him, but I don't know him. The normal people don't know him. Only sweaty ass people know him. So, without further ado, I'm gonna tell you why I don't care about this much. And I'm gonna tell you actually the second reason why I don't care about this match. Ever since Brian Danielson said that this is gonna be his last year in AEW, everything he's doing is just for the sake of doing something. Every match is just a match. No story behind it, no emotion behind it. No one cares about Zack Sabre Jr. Who the flip is this guy? And the same thing now. On paper, this is a dream match. Man, everyone thinks that it's gonna be great to see Brian Danielson and Will Osprey. But can you imagine seeing these two titans of professional wrestling collide with a good ass story? Can you imagine a story built for three, four, six, eight, ten, a year, and after that you have this match? Can you imagine the hype about all of that? Instead of just Brian Danielson appearing on TV after Will Osprey's victory and just standing across the ring from him. And after that, Will Osprey kind of does the same thing on Collision but that he's having a nice little promo, that he really loves Brian Danielson, and he's the measuring stick of AEW, and how everyone would want to have a match with Daniel Bryan, and I said his name wrong, but I don't care, and now they're gonna have a match. Why should I care? Because they're just too good in the ring? Will Osprey is so fast in the ring, so fast paced, that I cannot even trace him, and I'm young, I'm 27, I'm not even an old guy, old school, who is watching wrestling for 20 years with the slow pace. I'm just, dude, I'm not saying that I want to multitask while I'm wrestling. I just want to watch the show. But I cannot watch anything else if I want to follow every move you do. You're doing moves just for the sake of doing moves. Stop. St stop. Stop. Cut it. Cut it, you know? You don't have to waste your body to do all of these moves. You just need to hype them up. I, I'm not sure how this works. If I knew, I would be a wrestler. But watch MJF. He's getting the fans hype just for a drop kick. This is how you do it. I feel like it must have been the only and the right way. The only? Not the only. There are probably a lot of ways. But yeah, I'm really disappointed that this match is happening right now. Probably it's happening because Brian Danielson is running out of time and they really want to have that dream match coming to fruition. But I feel like the Daniel Bryan's send-off match is more fitting to be that match instead of just this to be a random match on a dynamite. It's not gonna be a dynamite, it's gonna be on Destiny. What is Destiny? Is Destiny a pay-per-view even, or it's a special episode of Dynamite? I'm, I cannot even keep track of AEW episodes. Give me a freaking break. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.